Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be going over how to get Gimme Ghoul and Goldingo in Pokemon Go because they are officially here you can get them. Now to get Goldingo you're going to need a whole heck of a lot of coins like we were describing 999 not oh 99 you're wrong poke nope you're going to need a whole heck of a lot to get Goldingo and well that's going to be quite a grind unless you were out there in the beginning when they first came out in troves with those golden stops. Now what you're going to want to do is on your switch go to the portal and then after the portal you're going to be going to mystery gift and then after mystery gift you're going to go to connect to pokemon go and then you're going to want to go into the pokemon go options and then search for uh, the switch connect them and then you're going to be off and then after that we'll go ahead and take a look here so i was confused for a minute because it really didn't tell you you know you go to your postcards so here we are so we're going to go ahead and pair with pokemon go now at this point we are also pairing with our phone, kind of like the Meltan box if you're familiar with that. So at this point, on the other hand, on the other end, what it looks like is you go into your options, go to Nintendo Switch, connect to the Nintendo Switch, and it can take some time if it does, then just restart it and uh, retry it, reconnect it. Don't just wait on the Switch, redo it because you'll be sitting there forever while it searches. All right, so we're connected, great. Now after that, you're going to directly go out keeping everything on the switch as it is go into your postcards which is going to be under your profile here and i was trying to swipe down and it kept on tapping on the same one I, this is why i hate messing with gifts and cards and stickers it's just i the whole thing to me is annoying uh it's a good concept you know memories but all right we're sending a postcard over here something that we had to pin first and now you're going to be able to do this once per day and you're going to have an incense which is going to be spawning Gimme Ghouls only for 30 minutes. Now, in my experience, sitting still, they don't spawn. Unlike the Meltan box where you can sit still, they will spawn. I don't know if they're going to change that in the future, but I noticed that. And we're going to take a look at some of the gameplay here and talk about some things that I saw on social media about people saying they weren't spawning for them. And that's pretty much all there is to it. They were saying they weren't spawning. It would show up. They can see the ring around it, but they couldn't actually tap it. Now, this is going to be my first one. Very good. And I'm going to tell you this, folks, they are extremely small. It is a very sunny and bright day out. And you already know when those days are here, it's hard to look at your screen. So I did have to turn up the brightness so I can actually see them. And I did go on for a while to not catch any because I was driving until I did end up in neighborhoods and a spot where I can actually pay attention and play safely here. So they were spawning at a decent rate like they usually would for the Meltans as well. I mean, nothing crazy here. And we're just going to go ahead and catch them. You're also going to probably want to go into the shop and collect your free coins, not Poke coins, but the coins to evolve uh, oh, Gimme yeah. Ghoul into Goldingo. They're going to give you nine. Yay! So uh, good luck on that grind. For the people who went out there and really hit those Pokestops when they were first here, congratulations. You're going to be able to evolve it sooner than the rest of us. But I personally didn't because we're not completely, you know, just buried in Pokestops here in Alaska. And not every single gold stop rewards you with coins. So I said, I'm good. The gas costs way too much right now. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, pass on all that. So I did collect like nine or something like that. Plus the one that we did get in the shop for free. Don't know how long those are going to be in there, but you probably just want to collect it as soon as possible. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Yes, I will be bringing you gameplay of Goldingo whenever I do get that. I am in no rush to get it. In the summertime, I'll probably start grinding it out to go look for those stops on foot downtown and really hit it or even in my car but as of now that's just quite a that's ridiculous 999 coins i mean give me a break now taking a look at me staying still here you're going to be able to see the results there is going to be none spawning i do have that instant still going as you can see on the side here lasts for 30 minutes and we're getting nothing i was filling up my gas so the entire time i was not seeing any spawns so just a little heads up there you probably want to move around while using it and it seems like they're starting to really try to make you get out there and move and not just sit around while you use your incense same with the daily one you can't get any spawns if you stay still so you're gonna have to move around with that one but i'm pretty sure you know that by now so we're looking good i use a Silver Pineapple to catch every single one of these because I do want to maximize that, get as many XL candies, and hopefully get a good one so I can power one up. The one that I do have as a buddy is not good. I just want to do a it as a buddy because it's funny to look at. Probably the tiniest Pokemon that we have in the game right now, right? I wonder what an extra small one is going to look like if you can actually get one. 
an extra small gimme ghoul that's already extremely tiny. I wonder if they're gonna recalibrate the size of it, but who knows? I had a pretty good time just going out there catching them and nothing, you know, extraordinary. Uh, you could power this thing up, I suppose, if you're into that kind of thing. I don't know how good it's going to perform. Didn't really look too much into it. I got a whole lot of things going on here, including you do not want to miss me hitting Legend. Make sure you have those notifications on and are ready to go for that because we're going to do that. Also, Niantic did disable Megas in Master League. It's only Master League now. Back to the regular one because of the exploit people were using to use three freaking Megas. And if you're wondering, how do you even evolve three Megas? Well, I'm not even going to explain how it worked. Let's just leave it as it is. It doesn't really matter because they took it off. People will find a way to, to exploit. That's as simple as that. You could blame it on the people. You could blame it on Niantic for not fixing their game. But hey, we're stuck in the middle and they took it down, which is perfectly fine because guess what? Master League's where it's at and I'm about 50 points away. So let's get it. But anyways, folks, if you did enjoy this news video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Turn notifications on. And again, I'll be keeping you up to date on whatever is happening in Pokemon Go. I know it was slacking there for the past couple of months. Not really. I would bring you the news videos pretty quick, but I'm going to stay on it as fast as I can. Had some things I needed to do. Otherwise, I would have had these up a lot sooner here. All right. So, yeah, uh, 999 coins to evolve it. Those could be found in the options to see how much you're at, where you're at, the progress. I do believe this is going to be one of the hardest Pokemon to evolve in the game right now. A a period. Um... I mean, what do you, you had Meltan with, nah, it was uh, 400 candies, which is a little bit more difficult than I say Swablu or something like that, or whatever, uh, Gyarados, because those ones spawn in the wild naturally. Meltan did not. It only was a matter of time before you got it, but for this one here, this is a different story, finding those coins, are you kidding me? Anyways, thank you for watching, hope you did enjoy this video, and I'll be catching you all in my next one, take care. So you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic. It's out of my head. But I'm still in control. It's out of my head. You can never take away. Where you can't, don't. Even if everyone is telling you that something wrong is something right. Even if the whole world is telling you to move. It is your duty to plant yourself like a tree. Look them in the eye and say no. You move.